A mart locations are a curious thing. Sometimes they take the form of uh, just a little campsite in the middle of nowhere near no mart location. Other times they are part of a main location, but you just never ever notice it. This is the case for Long Neck Luke's Cannery. Now I'm sure many of you know the story of this is the place where strange potted meat comes from. But did you know that up above there is a little control room that would have been used for bringing fishing vessels in and out navigating and uh, obviously coordinating with them but it's the supplies that you can find up here plenty of food drink and more importantly supplies a braxo radex cram medics like you've just got so much up here for the taking uh, we can nuke a cherry as well I'll turn the radio off before it flags this video that's one very inconvenient part is I would love to do playthroughs. I, I keep looking at bottle caps here as if I'm going to find like a star bottle cap, you know, from New Vegas. <laughs> uh, I haven't even played New Vegas in ages. We will be visiting it in the series. Uh, do not worry. Oh, we expert lock safe as well. So, uh, yeah, I've never been up here. I actually didn't know it existed. I thought just from the offset that this was part of, uh, you know, the cannery in general. Uh, so yeah, Long Neck Lukowski's Cannery. Of course, inside you can find the Barter Bobblehead as well as a magazine beside it, uh, Tales of a Jerky Junk Town Vendor. I think when you visit this place, uh, you can get the key off him to, in order to get into his office. Uh, if you pick up that bobblehead and the single piece of, uh, the, you know, the comic... You actually end up with like nearly 10% better prices. So this is certainly a place you want to visit. Of course, I can see two Siege Breaker robots running about. Well, one is on the bridge. He's just went out of sight there. Um, normally, they're sitting fighting the Marlurks. And is that is that on fire? Yeah. Well, they're not fighting at the moment. The AI is turned off. And often, you find a tank parked right over there. So a little fun fact. If you're near Lynn Pier parking, there's usually... A gunner squad and a tank just to the west there. Um, it's a very prevalent spot for it to uh, to spawn. So yeah, the pretty awesome location uh, on the roof. I have looked around. There doesn't seem to be any other items. And even if you jump onto the ship, there's just a skeleton who's kind of just hanging about. So not much in the tugboat. Let's drain away the water. Have we look again? Uh, some of you may recall this place from Clash of Ships is what I called uh, the two tugboats hitting each other out there. And, uh, wow, well, there's actually not too much in this vicinity in terms of supplies, but it's still an awesome place nonetheless. So, uh, I will uh, leave you with that, and I'll see you all in the next one. Thank you for watching.